So we'll start by settling the body, finding a stable, comfortable, upright position, serviceable for meditation. So we think about keeping our feet flat and our back straight, torso open. Hands in the lap, right over left, with the palms upturned and the thumbs gently touching. Our eyes are gently closed or slightly open. Making sure we let in enough light to remain alert. And try to avoid slouching or leaning. And also let go of any unnecessary tension or rigidity in the body. Relaxing into a stable, comfortable, upright position. We begin to let go of attending to the environment, allowing sights and sounds to be as they are without investigation. Constraining our awareness just to the body and mind. Concentrating that awareness in the present by attending closely to the physical sensation of the air moving into and back out of the tip of the nostrils. Noticing quickly when anything other than that one physical sensation is arising in the mind and without judgment or frustration, lifting your awareness up from those distractions and placing it gently but firmly again and again on the breath.
And when the mind feels more calm, you can generate a broad and altruistic motivation for your time, wanting to use this time to establish and deepen constructive, beneficial ways of thinking and acting, cultivating states of mind that allow oneself to remain connected to a sense of peace and ease, and states of mind that naturally and spontaneously give rise to actions that are beneficial for others. Wanting to separate oneself from states of mind, ways of thinking and acting that agitate and disturb one's own peace and ease and often give rise to actions that cause harm for others. Wanting to engage in this process of genuine inner transformation in order to be of greater and greater benefit to sentient beings. And then with that motivation, I thought today we would try to draw ourselves close to the healing aspect of enlightened mind, enlightened activity due to the wars that are ongoing and the mass shooting yet again. So we bring to mind the need for healing in the world. thinking of the dangerous, uncertain conditions sentient beings are facing. And recollecting medicine Buddha's vows and pledges to use enlightened mind, enlightened activity to be of benefit to those facing illness, those who recently passed, And we begin by visualizing that manifestation of the universal energy of healing in the form of Medicine Buddha, about the palm, the size of the palm of the hand, a few inches above the crown of the head. He seated on a moon disk in the center of an opened lotus. His legs are crossed in the full 
Bhadra position, facing the same direction as you. His body is composed of bright, royal blue light, the color of lapis lazuli. Every aspect of the visualization is made of light and radiates light. His right hand rests on his right knee in the gesture of granting sublime realizations and holds the stem of an aurora plant between thumb and first finger. His left hand in his lap is in the gesture of concentration and holds a lapis lazuli bowl filled with nectar. He wears the three saffron robes of a monk and has all the signs and marks of a fully enlightened Buddha. His face is peaceful and smiling, looking at all living beings with compassion and loving kindness. We'll pause and try to stabilize that visualization, understanding that due to the force of our concentration, the living energy, the living presence of Medicine Buddha is invoked. And then if you would like, you can recite the prayer of refuge in Bodhicitta. I go for refuge until I am enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I am enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I am enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. And then we'll contemplate the four immeasurable thoughts. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering.
May all sentient beings be inseparable from the happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from attachment and anger that holds some close and others distant. And then we'll recite a prayer to Medicine Buddha. You can recite this prayer, or you can think in your own way, making a request to the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, Medicine Guru, King of Lapis Light. I prostrate, go for refuge, and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, king of lapis light, I prostrate, go for refuge, and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. To the Bhagavan Tathagata Arhat, fully enlightened Buddha, medicine guru, King of Lapis Light, I prostrate, go for refuge, and make offerings. May your vow to benefit sentient beings now ripen for myself and others. I think that Medicine Buddha instantly responds to your request and raise infinite rays of Radiant white light flow from the heart and body of Medicine Buddha. This light fills your body and purifies all disease, afflictions, as well as negative karmas, delusions, and obscurations. All these negativities leave your body in the form of thick black liquid. Your body becomes as clean and clear as crystal. You also imagine that all other sentient beings are purified in the same way, particularly any of those, any of those that you know are in need of healing. and begin to stabilize that visualization. When the visualization is clear, we join the visualization with recitation of the Buddha's mantra. Tayato Om, Bekenzi Bekenzi Maha Bekenzi Bekenzi, Raza Samogate Soha. Tayato Om, Bekenzi Bekenzi Maha Bekenzi Bekenzi, Raza Samogate Soha. Tayato Om Bekenzi Bekenzi, Maha Bekenzi Bekenzi Raza Samogate Soha. Tayato Om Bekenzi Bekenzi, Maha Bekenzi Bekenzi, Raza Samogate Soha. 
Beidzu Om Bekensi Bekensi Maha Bekensi Bekensi Rasa Samungate Soha. Taito Om Bekensi Bekensi Maha Bekensi Bekensi Rasa Samungate Soha. Taito Om Bekensi Bekensi Maha Bekensi Bekensi Rasa Samungate Soha. Taito Om Bekensi Bekensi Maha Bekensi Bekensi Rasa Samungate Soha. So now we'll very gently recite the mantra while engaging in that visualization. And then we recite the mantra again, this time visualizing that the light carries all of the realizations of the path to enlightenment and all of the perfected qualities of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Imagining that we become inseparably one with these qualities and realizations, as do all other sentient beings. Dayato Om Bekansi Bekansi Maha Bekansi Bekansi Raza Samogate Soha. Dayato Om Bekansi Bekansi Maha Bekansi Bekansi Raza Samogate Soha. Dayato Om Bekansi Bekansi Maha Bekansi Bekansi Raza Samogate Soha. I do own back and see back and see my back and see back and see as a summer. So I do back and see back and see my back and see back and see. I
and then visualize that menace and Buddha melts into light, which pours down the crown of your head absorbing into the heart center. Your mind becomes inseparably one with the enlightened mind of all the Buddhas. And rest your mind in a state that is completely clear, peaceful, and free from elaborations and mental conceptions. And then when you're ready, we'll come back together. And we'll dedicate to recollect your altruistic motivation and think that by having engaged in this contemplation, you've actualized that motivation, which has generated positive energy in the mind and think that you freely offer the fruit of your practice for the benefit of all sentient beings, without exception. And think may that positive energy serve as a cause and condition to eliminate war, conflict, poverty, famine, disease, disasters, all painful inner and outer conditions. May it fully ripen the minds of all sentient beings. May they quickly meet perfect teachers and arise in the state of full enlightenment. May I too achieve the state of enlightenment in order to work for the benefit of sentient beings perfectly. May any obstacles facing the Guru's long life be completely dispelled. May I and all sentient beings in this moment come under the joyful care and guidance of enlightened beings. May we be guided and protected until we swiftly achieve that state of enlightenment. Thank you.